So the next example, which I don't ask you for questions because it is similar and it's part of the same kind of demonstration, is that we don't have to limit ourselves to dimensions, right? Now I have breakdown by source, breakdown by medium, it becomes medium, breakdown by camping. And you already know I, I'm using tables at the top, right? But I can use the same methodology to create metrics, to allow them to change the metric. Yes, they want to see from country, but what metrics do they want to see by country? Session, page views, users. And it is the exact same case function, but this time applied to table metrics. So again, table metric, variable. Table metric created the same way, a, fun, a parameter, text, some available values. And then here on the table itself, I have metric, which is a case function. When table metric is sessions, show me session. When it's page views, show me page views. And you can see that I'm already trying to recreate Google Analytics interface here. So you can select a dimension. You might be able to select your secondary dimension, tritary dimension, the, the fourth dimension, which I don't know how to spell in English. And you can apply different metrics as well. So you can choose whatever kind of data you want to apply in a metric. And uh, it's nice to just don't overuse it, but uh, sometimes, especially recently, I found it, I, I found it valuable. The CFO of a company that we work with, they wanted to see different metrics for different uh, stores that they run on different date ranges, but they didn't want different pages. They said, okay, can it be a drop down that I just choose my metric? And because I already knew how, I said, yes, it can be. So we created the same interface for them. So they can see sales, number of transactions, number of customers, number of products sold, et cetera. But they can choose which metrics do they want to see and focus. That function is similar to what would be optional metrics that can just add it there, but then they can click the button on top. But it's just more obvious that they're there. I always find that yeah. the optional metrics is so hidden. Is it hidden? It is know, hidden. Let's know. Yeah. When you use optional metrics, so if, let me just copy this table for a moment. When you use optional metrics, then the, the best way of just communicating that it's a function that's available is to, first of all, always show the chart header, so these. And when you apply optional metrics at the top, then there is something visible thing, okay? And then you need to put some text here. So select your metric. And uh, now it's within the interface. It shows them what they can do with the, with the tip. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And otherwise, yeah, you can use this if you have the bandwidth to create these kind of fancy UX on all of the reports and yeah, do it.